Welcome to Quick Tips with Wetham Solutions. Today we're going to show you how to archive files or zip them up and transfer them and this is done for any number of reasons. If you need to transfer multiple files and you need to do it through an email or you need to do it through some other form even as a, as a, a, a flash drive or if you want to upload it on a website uh, for example what's a good practice to do is to actually zip the files up and so they're, that what you're doing is you're consolidating multiple files into one file and what happens is it actually just compacts them and makes them smaller than they actually need to be and then what happens on the other end of course is you you uncompress them or you uncompact them and they uh, the one file is restored back to you know five six or seven however many files you need to, to do it in fact you can do it with an infinite number of files so today what we're going to show you how to do is do this through a couple different uh, ways. First of all, this is Windows XP and Windows Vista and 7 have a, a similar function and they've got the Windows compression tool which allows you to do that. That's the first way and then we're going to get to the second way. The first way of course what you need to do is just have to take your your uh, files and this can be your, your documents, this can be pictures, this can be music, it can be anything you would like and you're just going to you're just going to compress them uh, and, and save them as one file so that you can back them up or do whatever you need to do with them. And all you have to do is just highlight them by clicking, dragging, and selecting the files you'd like to, to zip up. And we're going to take these six files, of course, and we're going to put them into one zip file. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, after selecting them all, I can right click on them. That's using the right mouse button. And then I can go down to send to and then compressed or zipped folder and that's going to actually use the Windows compression to create a zip file so when I do that you can see a new file happens here and it's called myflash.zip which is because that was the first file name that was selected and I'm going to rename this called my zip file now this zip file contains all six files now if I highlight this you can see that uh, uh, there's 65.5 kilobytes uh, of space that's used but in the zip file is only 58 kilobytes of space that it actually requires. Now if I double click on the zip file it's actually going to show you that there's actually six files within this one zip file so it's similar to the way that a folder operates. And in order to just extract them, and that is to in order to uncompress them again, you just have to, after double clicking on that, go to extract all files. When I click extract all files, it's going to uh, unzip them. So it just takes it through the extraction wizard, of course. So you click next. Uh, it's going to ask you where you want to extract them to. And of course, if I leave that here, and uh, which is in my zip file under my folder that I was using, and click next, then I can do that, and it's going to show me the extracted files if I leave this box checked off and click finish and sure enough here is my extracted zip files now if I close this back and we're gonna go back to the original folder we were working with so these are the six original documents we just were working with this is the one zip file that contains all six documents and this is now what we've done is we've compressed this but then we've uncompressed it again so if I go here notice how there's no zip there's no zipper here on this folder if I go here here are the uncompressed files again so what we've done is we've again we've compressed these files into this one file and then we've unzipped this one file into this folder which then contains all of these files again now of course you're going to zip them up in order to send them across a network or to uh, send them through email or you're going to back them up to uh, something that you're going to store a backup on uh, Obviously, you're not going to just compress them and uncompress them for no reason like we've shown you in the demonstration, but it's just to show you how it actually works. Now, what we're actually going to do is I'm going to delete these now. Back to the original files that we were using. We're actually going to use a tool called 7-Zip, and this is a, a replacement for Windows compression. And the reason being is because uh, we found that 7-Zip just works a little bit better than Windows compression. So what I'm going to do is highlight the six files yet again, right-click on them, and because I've installed 7-Zip, there's actually a menu here that you can see 7-zip and it pops out and there's a number of options here and don't let this big menu scare you uh, in fact I'm just going to have to move it over into the the window where we can see here so 7-zip like I say don't let the menu scare you, scare you. there's just a, a couple things here that you really need to, to, to look at first of all 7-zip has a different file extension that's 7-z don't use that file extension because it's not compatible with everybody 
The zip file, however, is compatible with everybody who has uh, most compression uh, programs and, of course, all, any Windows platform, uh, past Windows XP, that is. So what you want to do, if you want to add this to a, a compression or to one file, you just have to go to add to quick dips demonstration dot zip, which is the name of the folder we're actually coming from. So that's actually giving you the file name already uh, here. Now, if you want to create your own custom file name, you can also just go to add to archive here. And this is actually going to give you a list of different options you can do to compress your zip file. Now, if I click add to archive here and we use the 7-zip archive program, you can see that we're going to create a quick tips demonstration and it's giving me .7z and I'm going to choose zip instead of z in the archive format box here and then it's going to say quick tips demonstration .zip of course and what we have as far as options goes is the compression level first of all we've got a couple different compression levels here first of all there's store which basically is just going to throw all the files together and it's not really going to do a whole lot of compression fastest isn't going to do a whole lot of compression uh, either fast will do a little bit more compression normal is going to do what it considers normal compression level maximum is going to really try and get your file size down and ultra is, is going to be the most um, efforts is going to be put, in, put into getting your file size down so that one file that you end up with in the end is going to be smaller if you use ultra now why would you use ultra versus the fastest or store uh, because you actually you want it to, to compress faster and of course the, the more files you have the longer it's going to take to compress especially if you're on a maximum or ultra uh, because they 